All right, let's do this. It takes two cups of flour. I'm using the Great Value brand. Same with the salt. It is one cup of the salt. Get my little crumbs. Now, before adding the water, we are going to just take a plastic fork or whatever and mix the dry. And then we're going to add the cup of warm water. Now, you don't have to mix it all at once. You can gradually add the water, but to me, I like to pour 99% of it first. And then I'm going to be needing a little extra coming up here. I add the rest. Um, not very much was left in it, but we're just going to keep kneading like you would if you were baking. Folding it in on each other. Keep kneading. Take some hand strength. Okay, so now that we have it kneaded, I'm heading on over and we're going to take and roll some big balls. <laughs> now, I take the balls and flatten them out a little and I grab my plastic knife. I'm cutting these into little squares so they look the shape of a brownie they don't have to be perfect ain't nothing perfect and notice I'm putting my scraps off to the side we're going to reuse those coming up here I'm taking and I'm tearing some of them scrap pieces and just the little pieces and I'm putting on top of the brownies then I'm going to take and flip the brownies over and really push them into it. And then I take the rest of the dough and I make just little mini cookies. I let the cookies air dry overnight, but for the brownies, I put in the oven at 200 degrees for one hour. Now that the cookies are dry... If you take and you kind of pound on it and it's solid, it's good to go. It can be painted. Now to paint it, I went in with Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. This is my favorite for any chocolate bake I do. And a dash of black. That gives it a darker chocolate. So I'm so going to go gonna in and paint up. one of them and then just fast forward the rest of them. Badum, 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 doom, badum, 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 badum. For the top, I'm going in with this Dollar Tree Brown. Nothing special here. And just painting the tops of both of them. Like I said, I do two coats. <clears throat> and after I paint them and they're dry, I'm not I don't think it got recorded, but I go in and I mod podge the whole entire brownie. That's going to seal it, and they're going to last decades. Don't mind my baby girl waffles. That's Waffles Aunt Jemima Johnson. In the background here, sniffing. She is fed very well. Has a better life. Eats better everything than most humans. So don't judge her figure. So fast forward to me painting the rest of these. Up next will be the fun part of fake bake. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba 
Badum, badum, badum. Doom, badum, badum. Badum, badum. Now here are the, the brownies. They were Mod Podged. I did not record that. I forgot to hit record. But you can tell a difference in the color. Like it has a shine to it. So now what we're going to do is make the cream. I take this joint compound. Make sure if you are using this, it's lightweight. You can get this basically anywhere. And I do know for a fact Dollar Tree sells it. But theirs has a gray tint. So make sure you add white acrylic paint to it. And what I'm going to do is just take some of this, whip it, well not whip it, I'm going to take a plastic spoon and just put a spoonful into this nice little, where did I get that, Dollar General piping bag. But also what I'm going to do is add the cream in between my two brownie stacks. So I'm going to take my spoon and just slather it on a chunk of brownie. Okay, I'm getting my spoon ready. And I'm going to figure out which one I want as the top or which one I want as the bottom. I mean, it don't matter. They're both basically the same. I don't know why I was being picky. But I'm just going to take and just dollop it on there and spread it. Spreading that cream. And that's going to help that stick to the other brownie as well. You'll see. And once it fully dries and hardens, it's really going to stick. Oh, here comes George shirtless. Gonna get me demonetized and I'm not even monetized. So what I also did, um, I added some cream to the top and some of these fake nuts. Now, for the fake nuts, it literally is just a chunk of cookie that I took and cut up with scissors. One of the ones that we flattened out earlier with them scrap pieces of dough. That is all it is. And... They look like nuts. So here I'm just showing you an example of you literally just take and cut little pieces. Make sure you still have all your fingers. Crafting can be dangerous. So now we're going to go in and make the fake fudge drizzle. You can do this plenty of ways. I'm just going in with some Mod Podge, some black acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. Get that at Walmart. One of these nice little fancy cups I got at Dollar Tree. They come in a big pack. And a popsicle stick to stir it. So I just take some Mod Podge. Not measured out, nothing specific. Put it in my little cuppy. And I am going to take, oh, that was a cup I had of Mod Podge for me. Mod Podge and the brownies earlier that I forgot to record. Anywho, so once I get that Mod Podge in there, I'm going to take my black, put some of the black paint all up in there, and then I'm going to take my popsicle stick, give her a good stir. Now, when this dries, it is going to be darker, so... Don't get misled by the color. Now I am going to go in and add some burnt umber for that more fudgy look. Um, like I said, it dries a different color, a little darker. So don't be alarmed with the Mod Podge color right now. So once we get that stirred... 
I am going to go in and take a sandwich bag. I cut the big bulky top part off that you pinch shut. And I'm just going to take a Mod Podge mixture. And I'm going to put it in my bag. Get it all up in there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to tie the top shut. And then I'm going to set it off to the side for a second. Okay, so now we're going to add the cherry on top. This is one from I made previously. Um, it's just air dry clay. Let it out. Dry. And it is just some red paint with one little drip of black. And obviously I mod podged it. Here's the clay I used to make it. I'm going to show you a quick example of how I made this it literally the easiest thing in the world you just take a piece you roll it into a ball almost like cherry size if you want to be more realistic okay so we're gonna need a hole usually I use um a toothpick but I, I don't have one beside me so I use the end of a paintbrush and it works just as well okay we're just gonna kind of flatten it out a little because i like that look Now, the drizzle. The fun part. Now, I cut my uh, hole way too big. I know better. But, yeah. Don't do what I did. Well, you, I mean, you can. It com still comes out really nice. But, cut the slightest little snip off the top. And I um end up using... The top of a plastic silverware container thing that you get plastic silverware in underneath so I don't ruin nothing here because I'm not in my craft room. I'm in the kitchen. So what we're going to do is literally just take and yeah, I don't even know what to call this. Just. Drizzle. That, yes, drizzle. And what I do with the excess is I put it back into that little cup. And what's nice with them little cups I got from Dollar Tree is they come with a lid. And if I want to do another craft, I can reuse this because it's closed in an airtight container. So it's reusable. It's not going to waste. Okay, so the brownie is done. Now you're definitely going to want this to dry good. I would give it a couple days to dry, but look how stinking cute. It's adorable. I'll insert a picture at the very end because the lighting out here ain't very good, but it is so freaking cute. I am new to YouTube, so please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.